here we go, here we go, Hot Rod's Weed and Topics, it's your boy Hot Rod here, back with another one, here with another episode, it's Motivated Monday y'all, fresh start, fresh opportunity, new goals, uh, before we start though, I'd definitely like to say, please guys, like, share, and subscribe, um, tap the bell for notif- you know, notification bell for new up to date episodes, definitely spread the word, share the message, um, I'll be very, very brief today, I just want to talk about blocking out the noise. Um, What does that look like, right? And it's easier said than done. Um, There's many ways I was able to, you know, I'll I'll start by saying over this past weekend, I was able to reflect a lot. And having conversations with different people gave me a, a, a different perspective on how I need to approach things moving forward in the best interest of myself. Um... Listen, there's no secret, okay, especially since the the pandemic, the suicide rate's been at an all-time high. People were depressed left to right and just, on you know, having a badass mood, it seems, every time when you see people's faces. Um, I'm fine. I ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm I'm good. I ain't trying to say that and that. But um, I say that because a lot of the times... You may you may not even realize you wake up today and you you in a great behind mood and literally like you just get a phone call or a text message from someone that really just shifts your whole mood. And by the time you realize it, you're you're sitting there reflecting like, damn, what, what the hell is wrong? Like, why am I? Mopey. Why am I sad? Why do I feel down? I woke up today. I was, you know, very energetic. I was excited. I look forward towards my day. I look forward to the goals I, I seeked out to accomplish for this week. And you don't realize sometimes that people a lot of times have a lot of negative energy on themselves. And when they have conversations with, you know, conversations with you, excuse me, they then place that weight on your shoulders. And because you care for that family member, you care for that friend so much, you want to see them do well. When that when when you hear certain things like that, it does impact your mood. It does impact your day because you didn't. Like I said, you care for that individual. You want to see them do well. But but in the midst of that, you don't even realize that what they just brought to you has now taken your damn mood and literally weighed Everything they weighed everything on your shoulders, and they just really just made your mood like this flipped upside down, and you don't even realize. Like, damn, I'm just upset and sad for no reason. I was fine, but a lot of the times when you when you answer certain phone calls or you reply back to certain messages, you are taking a risk. <laughs> you are taking a risk on your own mental space. You know what I mean? It, it is very important to protect your mind, your body, your soul, your emotions, right, your spirit. Because a lot of times, man, people don't have good spirit out here and they can literally take your crush your own spirit by just some of the things they say come out their mouth is just wild. And certain conversations you have with them, you may not agree with them, too, as well. And you just end up in a, in a funk. So, like, if you realize that someone is constantly having the same conversations that's just you know, weighing you down, you then got to choose yourself first. You know what I mean? And when I say you got to treat yourself first, you got to sometimes don't answer that phone call. Don't reply back to that text message. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of times we may feel guilty to not do so because we understand how important, you know, it is to have those relationships with the people that we love and we stay connected to them and we may talk to them every single day or every other day. But then there comes a point of time you're going to have to make the decision and make that choice. Like, you know, what? I can't constantly be upset or being sad or or being mopey and someone just, you know, training me and weighing me down all the time because of the stuff they got going on in their life. And of course, you want to be there for someone, but you got to be there for you first. And in the end of the day, like, dog, like, I know for myself, like, I already have a lot of things that I have going on in my life. And I got goals that I'm trying to seek out and accomplish. But I know I have to be uplifted all the time. And I got to stay motivated. You know what I mean? I got to stay on track. And, and, and in doing so, I can't have the same conversations that I know that's going to always just bring me out of bring me to a funk because before it's like it's so sad because like before you even answer that phone call or you answer or you reply back to that spec text message it's kind of like you already know 
where the conversation is going to go. And then you already know you're going to be sick and tired of it because like you hear the same thing over and over. And what is it helping you do? Is it a conversation that's helping to elevate you in your life? You know what I mean? Or is it the same conversation that people is bringing back to shit that you got away from five, 10 years ago? And it's like, yo, let's do, you know, let's go turn up. Let's go party. Let's go do this. Let's go smash some shorties, whatever the case may be. Like shit that, you know, you all grew from, but yet you're, you're, you're constantly being, you're constantly being taken back to this space that you work so hard to get away from and you know you improved a lot in your life right so there comes a time where you're gonna have to fade you're gonna have to cut ties i'm not saying you eliminate a person from your life but there comes a point in time you have to understand that person does not no longer hold the same value at the moment in your life and it doesn't mean you just brush them off and you kick them out your life no you can still love the person from afar you can still be there for them without having to constantly answer every single phone call they do like if they call you for the emergency yeah you realize something is up you want to help them but you don't got to answer every single phone call when someone's going through something and it just weighs you down and that also includes you know not sharing your dreams just talk to everyone too as well um A lot of times, like when you're like I said, when you're trying to get to a certain space in life and you're trying to get to this place, like you realize like, yo, you know what? Sometimes people may not, you know, see where you're where where you're coming from. Right. The vision. Um, They may not understand it. So it might may it may sound foreign to them because at the end of the day, that's not what they're doing. That's not what they're trying to achieve. Right. And a lot of times when if, if if they can't have it to as well. And they may be in a space right now in life where they're stuck. They, they don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. Misery loves company. <laughs> Misery loves company. And therefore, you're looking to go get some advice from this person who honestly has intentions to ruin everything that you're trying to look forward to by bringing negativity towards it because they don't want to see you elevate because they're still stuck. And therefore, they don't know what to do. And therefore, they're trying to keep you at bay. They're trying to keep you down. They're trying to keep you at that same level, keep you at their level. And therefore, it's like, all right, you know what? Damn, like now now I'm being conflicted because I know I got my goals and plans and I know what I set out to do and I know how I want to get there. But now I'm constantly running back to the same person that seemed to be instead of encouraging me, they kind of discouraging everything that I'm saying and everything I want to do. So it was like at that point, you then now feeding once again negative thoughts into your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit. So then now you start to become doubtful. And and now like instead of you know, staying on course and staying motivated. Now you feel like, damn, you're attracting. Maybe you got to you got to rethink something different and you, you don't know what to do. You, you, you start to have uncertainty and and that's a problem. So a lot of times we must we must find different ways. That's why I say we must find different ways of 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 knowing how to block out a noise. For me, I know, okay, before my my day start, I plan on meditating. I know I'm not going to allow this person or I'm not going to allow any conversation to ruin my day, ruin the mood I'm in. So therefore, I, I, I listen to myself. I listen to my body. I listen to how I feel like, OK, I'm not going to go in and go ahead on and, and, and talk to anybody today. I may not answer phone calls today. I may not reply to messages today because today I just want to have this level of focus and I want to dedicate this time and this energy to what's important to me right now. And I'm just going to not answer that call. I'm just going to not answer that message. And it's being selfish. You have to be selfish for yourself. You must always choose you first. You know what I mean? And, and, and hey, it, it's, it, it sounds crazy. It may sound like, damn, well, you're not being a true friend or you're not being a true relative, whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, so what, man? You got to be selfish. And I'm always going to tell, I'm always going to tell someone to choose them first. You know what I mean? Always stay motivated and stay on course, y'all. That's all I got to say today. Hot Rod Blazing Topics. Hope you all have a blessed week. Come out.